and welcome back to Redirecting. Very simply put, I'm going to be talking about those that have their heads in the sand. Um, I want to say this first, just because someone is talking or they are sharing information doesn't mean that they don't have their head in the sand. Some people are just news reporters, okay? When I look at, uh, just say, Channel 247 and even um, on other channels, um, some of the major news networks, you see these people talking and you assume that they are informed because they are reporting news to you. That doesn't mean that you are informed simply because you're reporting news. Being informed goes deeper. I like to take things to a spiritual level, okay? Um, when you live only on a natural plane and you don't know how to decipher things spiritually, you'll just be happy and content with someone reporting news and information to you. But you need to understand that there is uh, something deeper than what is on the surface, okay? What's on the surface is what you can see, right? What is underneath the surface is what you don't see. And that's what people are not talking about, okay? Any one of us can get on here and we can report news. Uh, we can tell you about what's happening here or what's happening there. But not everyone knows how to decipher and understand what is under the surface. One thing I wanted to say about this platform here, um, for many years we have been talking about many different things, okay? Um, we deal with gardening, we deal with the education of our children, the protection of our family, the love of our people, uh, the end times, and we, we do report news from time to time, and so many other things that we have dealt with on this channel. Um, as a matter of fact, one of our very first videos was called Say No to Black History. And because of that video, and I did this many, many years ago, um, a lot of people kind of reached out to me, okay? Some who didn't understand the message behind Say No to Black History, but then when they looked at it further, they said, wow, that is a deep message. They understood what we were saying, what we were trying to articulate. And so the rest is history from there as far as this channel goes. Now, for the most part, this channel, we deal with certain topics, right? But on the Watchmen Reports channel, that is our ministry channel, um, we go deeper there. There are spiritual things that you need to know and understand because you can come here and some of you say, Sister Deborah, you're so funny. Um, many of you come here because you want to hear what I have to say on a certain topic in which I um, enjoy your feedback. Um, some of you come here because you love Sister Deborah and you know Sister Deborah loves you too. Um, I appreciate those of you who um, reach out and let us know that you can feel the love. That is one of those things that um, I've always been told since a very young age. Um, and I shared this testimony before um, where there was a, an elder who said that the Most High put the spirit of love on me. And I've always known this, I've always felt this, and this is something that is there, okay? The enemy tries his best to um, try to cause that to leave, you know, sending mockers and scorners and people to say and do things. But I know the enemy's attacks. And so that love that I feel for my people is going nowhere. And that love that you feel coming from my videos, even when I have to give that tough love, um, you can keep that coming as well. Um, it's going to keep coming to you, so you can keep that coming as well. You're going to um, get a certain type of a message when you come here. Um, I definitely appreciate those of you who say, Sister Deborah, sometimes you can be a little tough with your messages, but we can feel the love. We can feel love. So I definitely appreciate those messages, okay? Because it lets me know and understand that I am indeed doing the will of our Father, okay? That being said, back to the original topic of people having their heads in the sand, um, there is much more going on in the world than what is happening, happening in your region. You have some that stick to what's happening in their region, okay? And it doesn't have to necessarily be uh, where they live in the world, okay? You do have those who deal with what's happening in their neck of the woods, their region, their areas, their zone, their country, their continent, their city, their state. But then you also have those who deal 
in a certain region as far as topics. Um, you have those who are simply on here to entertain you. That's their region. That's what they do. You have those who are on here um, to report news. That is what they do. Um, the Young Turks and um, RT News and then even some people that are um, maybe not as known, uh, platforms not as big. That's what they do. That is their region of focus. But what I am trying to say is that we, um, especially those of us who are awakening to who we are, okay? A lot of prophecy is surrounding us as a people. And so you need to get your head out of the sand and understand what is going on. Even though we talk about certain things on this channel, many times we are just expounding on things because we like to bring a spiritual perspective to the table. Um, you could go to this channel or that channel who are going to give you a natural perspective. They're simply going to report what's being said, what's being talked about, what is the hype. Um, notice I don't cover a lot of celebrity stuff on this channel unless it's something really significant about an agenda. But as far as what the celebrity is wearing, uh, what they're doing, I don't really care about that stuff in all honesty. Um, a lot of television movies and films and things of that nature i don't even know what's going on in them because that is not my region that is not something that i focus on but when say for instance a good example is when i covered uh, the story of will and jada um their marriage and something very um specific he said to her before they got married I thought that, that was very important because we deal with the subject of marriage all the time. And what he said was so very powerful um, in that he didn't want a certain element to be even present in his marriage. And so therefore he was willing to break it off with his wife because that's how serious he was. He actually brought her to tears. He says, I don't want violence and I don't want verbal abuse in my marriage. And if you can't deal with that, then bye-bye. You can leave. He told her to leave, right? So something like that I might talk about, but I don't care what's going on in these movies. If there is not something that I can bring to the table or something that I could get you to understand that's deeper than what's on the screen, then um, I, I tend to not deal with the celebrity stuff, okay? Now, also, so many of us... Um, We've been doing this for years, and it comes from a position of love. I look at those who deal with issues in the so-called black community, and I'm gonna say right here, in America there is so much going on in the black community. But over the years, my focus has not just been here in America. I have dealt with issues dealing with our people all over the world, right? Because that is a point of, um, that, is, that has a spot in my heart. When I see things happening to our people, regardless to where they are, it holds a very special place in my heart because we have been deciphering um, our position in this world ever since we um, determined and found out that we are the true Israelites of the Bible, that we are the descendants of those people that everyone carry around in the book, you see. Everyone wants to lay hold, hold on our history and claim it as their own. But ever since my husband and I found out about that, we look at the world differently now. I'm not just on here as a talking head, okay? I don't want to just come on here and draw an audience. For a long time, I'm just going to tell you, I used to really deal with a lot of the police killings and things of that nature. And um, you, you, you all have actually seen me cry over those things because it it really hurts okay but see the most high is showing me and showing us a different way of doing things don't get me wrong i still feel for those things and i still weep and mourn for my people i do okay when i pray there are moments to where i am overcome with the grief of what is happening to our people but then there are times when i go before the most high it's um i feel like i'm in a battle Okay, I'm like, Abiyah, arm me, okay? Help me to put on this armor because I'm ready to fight some spiritual warfare. I don't just talk spiritual warfare. You have those who get on here and they'll throw out the words spiritual warfare, but they have no idea what they're talking about or what they're engaging in. There's far more to it than simply praying or saying the word spiritual warfare or um, fasting. It's far more to it than that, okay? You have to understand 
what you are dealing with because we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers and the rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places this battle is so real and the most high brought the battle to us okay one of these days we are going to talk more in depth about how the most high brought the battle to us watchman and i i'm going to say our whole family actually We'll talk more in depth about it for those of you who need um, a greater understanding of that. But it actually came um, when we entreated the Most High. We said we need to understand and we want to know more about spiritual warfare. So he brought, he brought the battle to us. And we will feel comfortable sharing um, the testimony very, very soon, I hope. Um, when I say soon, it could be within the next couple of years. <laughs> so don't... Don't um, expect it anytime soon, as in a few weeks, because, excuse me, it needs to be brought in a certain way. What I want to bring to the table when I talk to my people, I don't want to just be someone who is trying to, um, to gain subscribers. I think a lot of people are on here for fame and notoriety. Um, for the longest, we were just, you know, we just dealt with issues that we felt affected our people. But we, we know and we understand that there is far more going on in this world than what affects our people because there are powers of darkness that are working day and night against you, you personally. You personally. You know how they talk about um, people having a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other, um, both trying to give you instructions on what to do? Um, I don't believe in the cartoon version of that, but there are enemy forces trying to pull you in one direction and there are um, spiritual forces trying to pull you in the right direction, right? But with those spiritual forces, if there is a way about you that is not right and in alignment with the Most High Yah, those spiritual forces will withdraw their protection and their direction and allow you to go in the wrong path go on the wrong path because this battle that we are in is so very real. The powers that be, they have tapped into their dark powers. And many of you have your head in the sand. You are religious. A lot of you are religious. There is no place for religion in spiritual warfare. Absolutely none. Okay. You can get up on here and you can try to give scriptures and give uh, what you believe to be prophecies and you can talk all of this stuff and you can just rattle on about this and rattle on about that but at the end of the day rattling on about things without a spiritual understanding of our existence on this planet this is why a lot of people fall victim to um, spiritual infiltration into their minds right? They always like to gain access into your home. And sometimes you bring it in through people. You bring it in through things that you buy, things that you engage in. Um, and also by not bringing your own thoughts into captivity. So essentially, when, when I say that the world and most of the people of the world, including some of those who say that they are awake, and even some of those who try to say that they are waking up others, right? Many people have their heads in the sand as it relates to spiritual warfare, as it relates to this walk, as it relates to what is actually going on in this world. Now get this, in no way do I claim to know it all, but you can best believe that this is something that stays on the table and on the plate here in this house. As my husband stated, when the enemy goes before the Most High and tries to be an accuser against us for anything, the enemy already knows that he has a fight on his hand. The scripture says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Fight the devil and he will flee from you. So what he does is he goes to accuse us, right? We talked about this on the Watchman Reports channel. The, the devil goes before the Most High to accuse you. He is the accuser of the brethren. But see, the Most High, he knows his servants, right? He knows our thoughts are far off. Just like my husband said, the Most High looks at Satan when he brings an accusation. And he says, oh, I'm not worried about this because he's going to be here tonight. We go before the Most High and we 
we bring our petition before him because we know how busy the enemy is. And he uses people all the time to imply things, to say things, to do things. You'll be sitting there on your job. Everything's going fine. Then all of a sudden, you'll get one of your coworkers who will bring something into the atmosphere to stir the environment that vexes your spirit. You need to know what is going on. Don't look solely at that person. Understand what is going on underneath the surface. This person is being used by the devil. This is why the scripture says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So don't just look at Becky. Now, Becky's part of it because she is a willing participant to try to bring vexation to you. She's being used, but there is something under the surface. What is motivating Becky to do what it is she's doing to cause the vexation of spirit in you? Okay? I thank Abi for this spiritual understanding. Again, I don't claim to know it all. There are higher heights in Yah that we need to attain to. And definitely I am seeking those higher heights, right? Scripture says that we are to press toward forward towards the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is in Yahusha HaMashiach. I am pressing, family. I encourage you to press because there is so much more to this walk than what you can get from a talking head on YouTube. You have people claiming to have prophetic words for you, preaching, teaching, saying all kinds of things. They're, they're just spewing words to you. But what is underneath the surface? Okay, is there something to be gained under the surface or are the words that you just heard, is that it? You hear something, it sounds good, you say, oh, that's deep. We talked about this in our lesson yesterday on Shabbat, where people will hear something that's different than what they're used to hearing. They say, oh, that's deep. Oh, that's powerful. Okay, why is it powerful? What can you do with that information to apply it to your life, to make sure that you are... Um, cleaning out something that shouldn't be there in your heart huh what can you do with that information that is going to ensure that you are going to think before you act you know when we used to be in the, the christian church you would hear people say can i get an amen right <laughs> i want you all to get what i'm saying here there is a lot more to this walk than what you are hearing with your natural ears this is why the scripture says, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Ruach, what the Spirit is saying to the assembly. You have to have a spiritual ear to know and understand. All of this surface stuff can only get you so far, okay? But that which is deeply rooted, that which is underneath the surface, that is what you need to know, okay? And with this channel and with the Watchmen Reports channel and anything that we say or do, any documentaries that we bring forth, we are trying to get you to look beneath the surface. I want to say this in closing. Stay tuned for Satan's Musical Prophets Part 3. Okay, we are about to premiere that in a very short time because... We need you all to know and understand what the enemy has done with music, okay? I'm not just talking and telling you, oh, the enemy is using music to do this, that, and the other. We want you to get a greater and deeper understanding why your father or your grandfather or your mother or your grandmother, your sisters, your brothers, or yourself have had things that have come into your life that have tried to destroy you. Okay, family, I think I have said enough. I don't want to let too much out of the bag about the premiere of Satan's Musical Prophets Chapter 3, but it's about to drop. I want you to get your head out of the sand. This walk is far greater and far deeper than what is on the surface. And with that, I will say shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.